How do? We're back and finally. It's been three months, probably longer actually. Uh, just put the car down the bottom. 24 hours behind schedule. A little bit longer due to uh, parking fees and things I'm probably going to get fined for later because I've messed up on the on the car park basically. So yeah, we're here at the base of Hell Valley. So I'm going to climb that today. Was planning on getting a few decent pictures from the top. However, I brought my camera. I've not brought my SD card. So we're winning today currently. So yeah, since been in lockdown for about three months, uh, I've done a few little bits and bits pieces to the car. I'll be showing them later on. Maybe in a different video, not decided. Showing as well what I've been up to during lockdown. All the little new gimmicks I've got. Including this mic, which hopefully works. Uh, so yeah. Let's uh, show you a bit around the base of Valley. Bit of signal up here, according to a map I've now got. We're 54 minutes from the top. Um, yeah, weather's changing constantly. We've had a bit of bit of sun. Winds coming in. Bit of rain over that way. But I suppose that's Lake District for you. Isn't it? If you come to the Lake District and it doesn't rain, you've done something wrong. Oh, you've turned the wrong. You've made a wrong turn somewhere. Um, but yeah, still happy with that. Saturday morning, halfway up a hill. Lots better. This is what it's like. Climbing up, like I say, I'm not sure what you can hear because of the wind. Bit of grey sky. Felt a bit of rain. Thought the chances are we're going to get wet on this one again. Well, a little bit, uh, bit of a strange one. Normally, when I've reached the peak, it's, the beer's going to taste sweet and all that, isn't it? But I don't know. This one was uh, a bit disappointing, to be honest. Uh, read a few reviews online before I came about the route I'm taking, saying it was going to be challenging, but views are worth it, all that good stuff. The views are great, but I've not even had a drink. <laughs> it's not, definitely not challenging. I wouldn't rate this as challenging. Um, so yeah, bit of an odd one. Might go and find another one uh, to climb later today. Or oh, saying that the campsite's only up the road from here. That's why I uh, planned that one. So yeah, see what happens. Just one shit last shot of this view, I think, before we drop into the tree line. <laughs> I've not got it on the gimbal, so it's going to be a bit, uh, a bit bouncy. But yeah, so I'm going to be heading that way, down the lake, setting up camp by the river, and going having a cold one. Well, for those that don't know, This is my 2015 Thatcher Duster, it's 1.5 DCI Perfect. diesel, um, DCI 110, four wheel drive, so I'm just going to show you the new mods that I've been doing during lockdown. So just to run through a few old ones, so you have the um, 
inter-turbo Dakar wheels with a tough torque steel wheels, tyres rather than steel wheels, uh, e-back pro lift kit, some mud flaps I got, lights on the front, bumper and on the roof as well, you can see the solar panel, the red, red antenna is for the CB that's currently fitted. Now in the back, if we can, there we go. Tall bar, finally fitted. So we have Dometic 31 litre fridge, well, fridge freezer. Fuel burner stove, comes out a bit further. And that empty space is where the solar panel goes. Cupboard space, pots, pans, kitchen utensils, and also dry food storage. Barbecue and table go up there. And we have the awning from Direct 4x4, two and a half meters by two meters. Perfect. 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 Then a green sport tent which I got from. I'm not actually sure where I got that from. Got it at one of the overlanding shows. So, so yeah, just a bit more on the, the additional mods I've done. So obviously we've got a fridge freezer in there now. Um, so I'm running a dual battery system with a SeaTec D250SE, I think it is, whichever the new one is, that's what I'm running. Uh, so basically the solar panels connected up to that. From the alternator connected up, so the 125 amp hour leisure battery that's in the boot where the spur wheel should be is now being charged. Um, yeah, and the new fridge. So gone with the Dometic, I think it's the CDF, I'm probably wrong, but it's a 31 litre fridge. So it's slightly smaller than the 40 that I currently had, but still plenty of room. So yeah, uh, show you a bit more later on as it goes dark. Probably show you the additional lighting I've put on. Also, we have awning lights. We also have sides for the awning. So we have one of the longer sides in the front as well. Didn't bother putting them on today just because don't know if you could see in the background, but there's not a great deal of room on this campsite at the minute. So everyone's social distancing as well. So yeah, show you a bit more later on, obviously. We also have the action camera mounts there too, and two in the window. So private plate on it now as well, just doing bits and bobs, bonnet bra. Um, so I think next will be probably snorkel, which will run on the passenger side Perfect. in the UK. Um, begin a bigger lift on another, it's on a two inch lift at the minute, gonna go hopefully another two inch or just a bit less and then gonna change out the tyres as well, uh, probably gonna go for the Coopers as these are fine, I, I quite like the noise that they give off but uh, yeah they are slippy on the, on the wet stuff so I'm gonna swap them out for Coopers, bigger lift, probably switch it as well because at the minute I'm running 235 60 16s so i'll probably go 225 70 16 i think makes a bit more sense gives it a bit more of a lift again not by much but just a bit got lights on the rear as well also in the boot don't know if you uh, it's pointed this out we also have 
the new light there. And I've actually broke something there by hitting the pots and pans in. So that'll be my job later on. Usual stuff, actual wood. Got some wood in the car as well. Normally banging on the roof. But uh, we didn't bother this time. So yeah, so I need to fix them there. But yeah, 120 watt solar panel. That's working fine. Like I said, that links up to the CTEC D250 SE. I think, or, I think the old one's the SA, the new one's the SE. Um, or the other way around, whichever. I've got the new one, it was on sale, so snapped it up. Um, ended up spending more than I wanted to uh, at the time because I can't remember which came first. I wanted a bigger leisure battery because the cool box was killing the 70 amp hour leisure battery I had. So I got that. Then I saw the C-Tech was on sale at the time. So I went and bought that. And then saw the Dometic on sale at the time. So bought that. So it to quite a bit of money. All in one go. But it's worth it now. It's done. I don't know what's going on with that. Is it light? And, oh, it's the glasses. So yeah, it was worth it. Definitely a lot better. Um, with that, basically, as long as I've got diesel in the tank or a bit of sun, no, I've got power. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be a great advantage in future. Just wish I would have done it a few years ago when I first got the car, rather than spending money on a cool box for hundred pound. Should have put that on board to proper fridge. Uh, but yeah, ah oh well, live and learn. Catch you all later.